Luke. Yeah. Would you like to tell me about that phone call? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, uh, I've been a TELUS customer for a long time now. Um, I have talked on the WAN show a bunch about how if you're in BC, you should like almost certainly be with TELUS if you can for your for your internet. If they have fiber optic in your area. Yes. If they have ADSL in your area, then you can tell them to pound sand yeah. or rather dig up sand and yeah. bury some fiber optic lines in it. Yep. Yeah, because Shaw's whole fiber thing is like fake, basically. Um, and TELUS actually runs fiber into your house, which is fantastic. And it's been very, very stable over the years and things have been good. Um, something that I really <laughs> liked was that every two years... Like clockwork, every two years they'd give me a call because my loyalty discount would end. Yeah. And I would no longer be locked in with them. Sure. And they would give me a call and they would give me a, a count. This guy's a flight risk. Uh, they, call him now. <laughs> they'd give me a preemptive counter offer, right? Right. They'd be like, hey, your thing is over. You're going to go up to standard rates. What if we lock you back in for another two years? We'll upgrade your plan to a better plan slash and or it'll be cheaper or something like that. Yeah. Um, one time they called me and my plan went from... 300 to 750 and it got cheaper and i was like okay 300 megabit to yeah. 750 megabit yeah see i thought you were talking about dollars no. and i was like a why the, are you paying so yeah, much I was to your just ISP? gonna say there's no way i would pay that much yeah yeah i don't think you've ever paid that much for anything no so. no uh so i was like this is sweet and every two years like i would completely forget about it and then randomly i get a call from telus when i never get a call from telus and i'd be like Hey, hey, how you doing? This is going to be great. And I'd pick it up and some customer support person is like, all right, we're going to like double your speed and drop your price down. And I'm like, this is one of the best calls I get every two years. I love this process. And then I realized the other day, hmm, I should check my bills. And I noticed that my internet bill was like oh. really high, way higher than it should be. And I'm like, what the heck? And I was like, oh, it's been more than two years. They never called me. Okay, so I look into this. Last time that the person called me, they gave me free TV. I told them I didn't want it. I don't watch TV. But yeah. they were like, ah, it's like part of this thing. Just take it. It's free. And I was like, okay. The okay. thing expired. So I've been paying for TV. For TV. <gasps> that is unplugged sitting in the corner. Oh, no. Because I don't watch TV. Right. And my, I went off the discount rate, which I looked at the plans on their website and... There are plans that are significantly faster than what I have and are also noticeably cheaper than what I'm paying when they're not discounted. So I'm paying a not discounted rate. And not only is the discounted rate that everyone pays all the time, way, 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 way cheaper, but the not discounted rate is also cheaper than what I'm paying and is like considerably faster. So I'm just getting completely hosed right now. So you know I call great? them is that TELUS is a Canadian ISP, and yet every single one of you can relate. All you have yeah. to do is take the word TELUS, yeah. sub Replace in it whoever your horrible local ISP is, and you can follow along with Luke's story and share his misery. Yes, and carry so I, on. <laughs> so I call them up, and it's none of the people on the phone's fault. Of course not. So whatever, right? I'm chilling. But yeah. I, I am expressing like, like, why did, what happened? Why it's didn't a, I get called? It's a really unfortunate thing, but you almost have to get mad to get escalated. I found I didn't, a lot of companies. I didn't get mad. I was just confused and I had to go through a couple people because I had multiple things on my plan, sure. like the TV and whatever I've seen else. it before though. Yeah. I, I usually, it's so it's, usually it's fine, but, um, most of them didn't know why, because they were like, oh yeah, I've heard of those calls in the past. I don't know why they stopped or you didn't get called or whatever. Sure. So I was like, okay, like there's no, whatever. Eventually I get to the like customer loyalty person and we like borderline get in a fight because she's like, I just keep saying like, please cancel my TV. And she wants to go on this huge tirade about like how what they used to do was bad and people would complain about it and no one complains anymore. And I'm like, okay, I don't care. <laughs> I've expressed that I wish I had the call and if they could happen in the future, I would like to get them. That would be cool. Just cancel my TV, please. And then she'd be like, nope. Because I guess she like needed me to agree with her that it's cool that they didn't call me. And I'm like, okay. By the end of it, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> very, very, very unhappy with this experience. But I got my stuff canceled and everything's fine and I'm okay. moving on. 
Now they call now. me. Yeah, now they call you all now the time. They call, really? But it's this, well, they like, called twice in the last it's half this, hour. Like third party studio. Studio that like it, they're called a Monet Studio or something. Okay. That call on behalf of Telus to try to sell me more crap. So I think that Monet I think Studio? that person. I think it's M O N E T. Oh, interesting. There's an autocomplete for like Monet Studio Telus or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like a, this is a thing. Yeah. So I think that person that I was angry with on the phone because they wouldn't stop trying to push their point instead of just canceling my TV and letting me get off the phone, just signed me up for like every TELUS marketing thing they could. Which was not wow. my point. What a day. I didn't want that. What a day. I just want to call every two years when my things expires. So you just like... Are you staying with Telus or no? Yeah, I'm staying with Telus. Cool. We're gonna like update you to one of our new plans. Everything's good. That's all I want. I don't want the freaking marketing calls. Stop it. So annoying. Oh no. And it isn't usually that common. I think the reason why they called me that second time was because I told them to take me off their list and they were like, nope, we're gonna get through to you. Um and like every time that I've answered so far and tried to like talk to them, they're yeah. trying to sell me stuff for TV. <laughs> Which is why I really think it was that person. <laughs> I don't watch TV. I don't. I really don't. I don't want it. I'm not interested. So yeah, I don't know. I was extremely happy, like very, very, very happy with Telus customer service for a long time. Yeah. Because those calls were just a beautiful, amazing thing. Because who doesn't like yeah, getting called? Every I come to think of it, every time I complain about the experiences I've had with Telus over the years, you are you kind of you either are just like I've had great experiences, or you're just like I don't know. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you your experience is wrong, but like I've had fantastic experiences. To be clear, I've had good ones too, and the the the, the product is great. Yeah, the product is outstanding. Fiber in your home is great, and it's super stable. Yeah, it's like. I don't think I've had internet downtime since I signed up for it. And it's been like two years. or three years. Like yeah. I, It's very, very stable. It's super stable. It always stuns me when I'm like gaming with someone from like another country or something that is like very developed. It's and like, sorry, my internet cut out. Yeah, it's like out. that happens? Yeah. Well, like, I, I mean, we live in like a storm time. area and yeah, it like, never happens. Back so. in the mid-2000s, it's not like we didn't have the same problem. Oh, yeah. I remember my, my high school girlfriend's house um, their, uh, their ADSL line, so that was one of my terrible experiences with TELUS because they came out and tried to fix that thing literally like half a dozen times over the span of a year. And every time they're like, yeah, it's fixed. Like, you didn't do anything. No, it's not. All you did is like power cycle the freaking ADSL modem. You didn't do anything. I'm telling you, it's not going to, no, no, it's fixed. See you later. Like it was, it was an awful, awful experience. But what would happen? I think they eventually figured it out. Was like somewhere along the line, it kept getting flooded or something like that. Rod, Rod Rosenberg was like, "I haven't gotten my call from Floatplane. D darn it!" <laughs> well, yeah, but doesn't he just auto renew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, he's already this, grandfathered in at the low rate anyway. This is my. It's like if you if you want a comparison, it's like two years from now we release three new subscription plans on Floatplane that are better and cheaper than the current ones that we have. Sure. But if you were subscribed to the old ones, we just leave you there. Yeah, which sucks. Like, that's obviously stupid. And their whole excuse was like, oh, we had a bunch of people complaining about those calls. I strongly don't believe that people were upset that they called once every two years and said, hey, things are going to be cheaper and better. See ya. Yeah, I, that that sounds very unlikely. I, well, okay, actually. It's possible. It's possible it's that possible. people would just get angry about a call from their ISP because they just don't want to hear from them. But the solution to that is just to put them on a no call list that yeah. actually works. Like I have that issue with our bank. <coughs> actually with our banks, because personal and business, um, they call me probably each at least once a year to ask me if I'm interested in some new service or if I need any help with my account. And every single f***ing time. I tell them, I don't deal with that stuff. You need my wife. Here's her number. I don't touch any of it. No, but really, you don't need to talk to the man. 
or whatever, or whatever it is going yeah. through your head yeah. that makes you want to talk to me about this. Honestly, drives me crazy. We had like a, contractors, man. My my girlfriend and I were, well, yeah. she was buying a car, right? Oh. Have I told you this story? No, but I already know where you're going with it. I went with her. Yeah. She did incredible research. She had literally like, a, she's old school. She likes paper. She likes documents. She likes writing things. She had like a binder full of research that she had done on all these different cars, on all the different deals from all the different dealerships, all the different prices that people are getting. Yeah. Very, very organized. Very, very well informed. I'm coming along like, derp, derp, derp. <laughs> don't <I'm>, know cars. <laughs> I'm going to throw in I some like opinions, I guess. Acura. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, it's, I'm completely fine with my car. The person that was trying to sell her this car the, the one that we test drove, it yeah. isn't the one that we bought. I think this might be a small part of it, but it definitely wasn't the whole part. Would only talk to me about things. She would ask him a question, and then he would look at me and answer the question. And I'd be like, I like I, I do this. I've talked to you about this before. I do this body language stuff every once in a while. So he would look to me and, and start answering the question. And I would just do this. <laughs> I do the exact same and thing. And he would just keep talking to me. I'm like, brother, I did not ask you this question. If that doesn't work. I will even just go. <laughs> yeah, like, what do you? I doing? will point. I will point at her <laughs> while they talk to me. God. it drives me crazy. It was so, so annoying. It was such a bad experience. So anyway, the the bank will call me, or the bank sir uh, will call me periodically and ask me about this stuff. I'll say, put me on your do not call list. They'll say, yeah, of course, sir. And I'll say, no, but really, put me on the do not call list. And it is something that I have I, I've gotten kind of angry about. Because when I ask specifically not to be called, I wish to not be called. Yeah. So if they were calling people who had already explicitly said, put me on an, an actually functional do not call list, yeah. then yeah, they're going to get angry no matter what you're saying to them because they said, don't call me. So I can see their and side of the story enough, there. But there's an easy solution to that. I don't call it. Yeah, exactly. And that's fine. And if people want to pay way yeah. too much for a service that's worse, let them. Whatever. But I don't think the majority of people are going to be like that. I don't know. It's just frustrating. Like maybe It felt I'm... like an excuse, in my opinion, to rake a bunch of people for money. Because they had this system that, like, I'm definitely not the only person that figured out this pattern. I figured out this pattern over the course of, like, six years. They were doing this for a long time. Yeah, for sure. So a bunch of people were in this rhythm. And then they stopped doing that. I guarantee you I wasn't the only one with Get hiked up bills. Money. Because the second the discount drops, the bill goes up by a lot. Yeah. Oh, tons. Because a lot of the time it's like free for some period, six months, a year. Long or enough like for you to forget about it. percent off and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, yeah, you, you don't get the call. You don't think about it because you're used to this cadence. Pretty much everyone uses automatic billing now. So, so then some amount of months on yep. like basically everyone... They probably had these cranked, more expensive bills, which is brutal. I don't like that. Mystic Man on Twitch asks, what if people want to keep a grandfathered rate indefinitely rather than get a temporary great deal that goes away after a year or two? It's just that the thing about internet service is that assuming that, you know, your ISP is making any kind of investments into their infrastructure and that they have any kind of competition, even a duopoly is better than nothing. Assuming that a couple of years down the line, your internet should be cheaper. Even the great deal. I mean, remember back when, okay, so I was in high school, uh, like like late high school, so you would have been like late elementary school, I guess. Uh, I remember how, you know, the best time to get a cell phone was Christmas because they would always have you know, deals with all these minutes bundled and all this texting. You know, we used to pay per text anyway. Um, and that, that was like the best time to get it. And you could really get a smoking hot deal on a cell phone plan around Christmas time um, that would legitimately be better than anything you could get for the next couple of years. Yeah. But after that couple of years, there was almost always a better deal to be had. And, there's, there's and that's two... just the way it works. That's technology, baby. It's the only thing that doesn't freaking inflate. Let's embrace it. Yeah. Let's love it. Yeah. <laughs> there's two things I want to address, too. How One... much does your TV cost per diagonal inch, Luke? How does that compare to the 1950s? A crazy one that I looked into recently was just SSDs. Because I remember when we first started working together, that was when we were crossing the dollar per gig threshold. Yep. And now it's like... Pennies a gig. Yeah. It's incredible. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. What no, no, you no, saying? you're good. So Bubbly Charizard in Philippine chat said, why not have a reminder set uh, to call or chat? Yeah, I do now. 
Yeah, but if you don't you need to, then why would you ever set it up if they are just going to call was you? There was precedent set over the course of many, many, many years. Uh, and then the other one is someone, some, the, the, the question you were addressing, what if you just want this grandfathered plan? Yeah. That was my main counter argument on the phone, which was that the current plans not discounted. So I'm paying, before I do this call, I'm paying a not discounted plan. So I'm looking at a new plan but not the discounted rate. The website wants to show you the discounted rate, but you can find the non-discounted rate. So I'm not looking at the discounted rate. It is faster and better in every single way and cheaper. There is legitimately zero reason whatsoever why you would want to be on your old plan. It is only better to be on the new plan, even if you're not locked in. As we were talking about the next topic, the vase amount thing, multiple people in Floatplane Chat, and that's like, that's a subset of a subset, right? Multiple yeah. people in Floatplane Chat mentioned that they had the same problem with Telus. So it's not just me. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> Jeez.